Hey guys, it's Natalie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be decorating my doll's living room for Valentine's Day. I'm going to show you guys all my Valentine's Day decorations, how I decorate. I'm also going to open P.O. Box mail in this video because I just went to my P.O. Box. And I have so much mail, so I'm going to open that too. So, a lot of people wanted me to make a Valentine's Day video, so I decided to combine this with my P.O. Box mail video. And put like basically two videos in one because I thought it would be more enjoyable that way. So, it's going to be a really fun video, so let's get right into it. I also might change one of my dolls in this video because all my dolls have been wearing the same outfits literally every day like amber has been wearing this outfit since i think like summer that sounds so bad but i just don't have time to change them and also i don't have like cute clothes but that's besides the point okay guys this living room is probably gonna look different i stained the floors and i'm going to be redoing it so it's like literally so unfinished I just don't mind that we're still gonna decorate it though because i want to make it cute for valentine's day and then look at the dining room. I also stained the floors. What do you guys think? I think it looks so cute. And I actually might make a video on that too. The closet, I'm currently filming that video. For my decorations, I'm just going to decorate this room. I also might decorate the dining room. I don't know. But let's get my decorations out. I'll show you guys everything I have. Here are my decorations. I just got them out. They're all in this like American Girl box and then I wrote Valentine's Day on the side. Oh my gosh, it literally, the marker like came off. Also, don't look at my nails. I'm so embarrassed. Like, just please don't look at them. Look how cute all the decorations are. It's like so pink. Wow. I'm gonna go through all my decorations, but before I go through my decorations, I want to show you guys something really exciting. So, in this like shelf, I keep my Etsy stock, and I want to show you guys something. I recently just had a whole Valentine's Day sale on my Etsy shop, and I put out so many cute Valentine's Day themed items. I put out these really cute sweethearts, and I put them for a really good price. I even discounted the price since Valentine's Day is coming up really quickly, and it comes with two boxes and then the hearts. They're so cute, guys. I totally recommend these because these are definitely my favorite products in my shop And then I also made these super cute milkshakes. I'm like literally obsessed with them And then I also have this one which is so cute. I'm obsessed with these milkshakes So totally recommend that I also have really cute paintings in here and then I have cute necklaces So definitely check it out. Oh, I have a lollipops too I'm going to package it like in Valentine's Day packaging So if you're looking for a gift or maybe even treat yourself and buy a gift for yourself I'm gonna wrap it so cute and make it really personalized my Etsy shop is always linked down below as well as my Etsy Instagram. Now I'm gonna go through my Valentine's Day decorations. I have this really cute balloon. That's from American Girl. And then these cookies are also from AG. Most of this stuff is actually from like a Valentine's Day set. I have these cute plates, which are just like paper plates and they're from a AG craft book. I have a ton of these little buckets. I think I got them from Michael's. You can use them as party favors even, but I just use them to like put this crinkle paper in and then I just make little like goodie bag type of things. This is so cute. It says cookie icing tips. So this is like perfect for doll's kitchen. I have this banner which is also from the Valentine's Day set. The milkshakes I was talking about. These I made actually a couple years ago though. I love these. And then I have like little Valentine's Day cards from the craft book. A ton of these little sweetheart boxes. Maybe these are all really long time ago though. Then I have this February coffee flavors. I spelled February wrong, okay. This is from my doll's bakery. It's a box of chocolates. There's chocolates. Oh! Guys, this is so cute. Then more chocolates, I think. There's like chocolates in here and a cookie. And then I have these like little heart ear things I made out of pipe cleaners. You could put them on a doll. Happy Valentine's Day. More plates, I have hearts, and I have this box of chocolates. Oh, that's so cute. Then I have this bag full of all of my Valentine's Day treats. I have sweethearts, lollipops, these cookies, more sweethearts. Made like these cookies out of foam and stickers. Those are all of my Valentine's Day decorations. It really got me into the Valentine's Day spirit. Now I'm probably going to put everything in there and I'm going to start to decorate everything. Okay, so I just finished decorating the whole living room. It looks so cute. I think it's so simple, but there's so much like Valentine's Day items in here. And I still have a little bit of decorations left. So I think I'm gonna use those for the dining room and I'll put a lot of like Valentine's Day food on the table.
Okay, so I just finished decorating the whole dining room. I'm obsessed with it. I put so much food on top. So first I have this pizza. This is from an AG set. It's heart-shaped, so I thought it would be perfect. And then I have this cake from Our Generation. And then the milkshakes I made. In the back, I put cupcakes and cookies that are also from Our Generation. Most of the food is from the Our Generation diner set. And then I have this little bucket with sweethearts and cookies in it. And that's it for the living room. And I'm not really decorating the kitchen because I don't really think I need to. And also, I don't have enough decorations. Decorations. This is the living room that I did. I put pillows, a really cute teddy bear. On the table, I put a milkshake, flowers, remote, and then this really cute plate with sweethearts and a box. In the corner, I put a balloon, card. I put another, like, little bucket there. TV, I put hearts down. Cookies in the back with a bucket. This really cute banner. That's how the living room looks. I think it looks really, really cute. The blue obviously doesn't match, but it's fine. Okay guys, so this is the first package I'm gonna open up. I think it's from Oklahoma. Okay, so she sent me this pillow, which is so cute. It says, I'm giving you a pillow. And she sent me this notebook and then this egg. And then she sent letters. Let's open this letter. So cute. So she sent me all these Polaroids, which I think are of all her dolls. Which those are so cute. It says, Dear AG for Life, I love your channel so, so much. You're my favorite AG tuber. I love your deck out the dollhouse vids, and I've made all of the crafts on your channel. You are an amazing crafter and so good at making YouTube vids. I have eight dolls in total. One our generation, one journey girl. I also took some pictures of my dolls. And sorry about the box. <laughs> it's okay. I love these pictures so much. Thank you so much to Isla for this. It means so much. So this is the next envelope. I'm gonna open up it's from lily and it's from michigan it has like rainbow washi tape and then rainbow polka dots and she said sent with care this is so cute first she sent this sign it says age for life which, and then she also sent this with jolly rancher hard candy so pack of jolly ranchers she also sent me this i think like a drawing that she did i love these colors let's open the letter dear ag for life i am such a big fan i've watched every video on your channel whenever you post a new video i get so excited and watch it right away Way. Oh, thank you so much. When I watch your videos, I go straight to my dollhouse to renovate it. You are my most favorite YouTuber ever. My dollhouse is pretty small. It is in my closet and I have three dolls. I think you are so amazing. I've been wanting to write to you for so long. I really hope you can write back. I write back to all of you guys. It might just take a little time though. What is your favorite season? It's winter. I just like winter because of Christmas. Hello, I love Christmas. And also my birthday is in December. I think my favorite season is summer because I'm just the happiest in summer and I just love the beach and the sun. So favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Show my appreciation for you. I included a few gifts. Oh, thank you so much to Lily for this. I'm gonna open this next and it's from Sophia. Um, she already sent me something last time, I believe. So I think she sent me something again. So, oh, so she sent me a Ziploc bag of fabrics, I think. The letter is in here. She said, and thanks for the stickers because I sent stickers um, to the last people that sent something in my PO box. First, she sent me this. I think it's a poster. Okay, so she typed her letter. I love when people type their letters it just makes it so much easier i feel like to read oh she spelled my name wrong but that's okay it says thank you so much for responding to my letter i also saw the opening p.o box letters video and i really enjoyed it i ended up making my channel it's called all for ag it's okay if you don't write me back in a while i send you a doll quilt a doll covid mask and some stickers i made the mask and the quilt by myself i also have a question for you when you are doing a video do you ever know what to say do you read off a paper or do you just say whatever comes to you. I don't read off a script. <laughs> it just comes to me, I feel like, and I just say basically what's on my mind. I also have another question. If you do say something wrong, do you cut that part out or do you just leave it? I cut a lot of parts out just because I stutter a lot. I say um a lot and like there's a lot of breaks, so I always cut the breaks out so it's not boring for you guys to watch. Wish you luck at your school and I can't wait till your next video. So thank you so much to Sophia for that. And also look at her house. Oh my gosh. That's like so, so cute. I'm obsessed with it. She sent me this COVID doll mask and and then this quilt, which is the cutest thing ever. Thank you, Sophia. This is so pretty. This is the next letter. It says, Dear Natalie, I'm your biggest fan. I love and adore your channel. She put her YouTube channel. It's AG with KJ. Two dolls. Their names are KJ and Julie. I built a dollhouse completely out of cardboard, which is so cool. So thank you so much. And if you guys want to check out our channel, definitely do so. 
This is the next one. It's here's the letter. It says, I love your YouTube channel so much. Your DIYs are so good. Me and my mom just built the bathroom vanity. Oh my gosh. I am building a dollhouse and I want it to be as cool as yours. I just watched one of your stop motions and it was so good. Hopefully you will never stop making videos. So thank you so much to Paisley. I hope I don't stop making videos. I mean, I do have a second channel, so I might post more on there in the future. It's always linked down below, by the way. Next, we have this letter. Okay, so she sent me this card, very folded up. She also sent me this. I love your DIYs for American Girl dolls. I have two dolls. I will get an American Girl doll house soon. I love art and DIYs. Happy 2021. Thank you to Sophia for this letter. It's so cute. This is the last thing I'm going to open. It's a package, and this one doesn't have an address on it. It just says from fan. I don't know if I'll be able to reply to this person because there's no address. Okay, so she sent me a doll shirt and then this, which is an our generation skirt. And then she sent me a singular shoe. I hope you stay safe. I wanted to give you a doll outfit. I hope you like it. You're my favorite AG tuber. I love you. And I left a doll outfit in the envelope for you. P.S. I made the top. Aw, thank you, Sophia, for this. She made this top by herself. Like, I can't even sew, so I don't know how you made this. Those are all the letters, and I'll try my best to reply. It just probably will take a while because I'm crazy busy. In the future, I don't know if I'm going to be opening letters on camera anymore just because it takes a really long time for me to film it. I feel like all my videos get really repetitive where I just keep showing you guys like, all the letters I get. And these videos are, they take me a really long time to edit, and they're not like super fun for me to edit. I hope you guys understand that. So I think I'm going to end the video here just because I feel like the video is going to be super long. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys liked it and I just want to quickly say I'm going to be going away for like three months for school and I probably am just not going to post as much because I don't have a lot of videos pre-filmed or anything like I might be kind of inactive a little bit it's very stressful having two YouTube channels and then also school and an Etsy shop it's a lot I get stressed very easily about all of it I really hope you guys liked it Make sure you guys check out my Etsy shop with all the cute Valentine's Day products and I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye